Hi YouTube, uh, I'm out in the New Forest again today on another walk and I just wanted to do a quick review of the day sack that I carry with me. This is the Berghaus Free Flow, sorry, Free Flow 35 plus 8 uh, with a back ventilation system. Uh, let me just explain about the back ventilation system. Basically, The bag has a curve to the back and in there there is a plastic insert which goes inside the bag. That is obviously curved to keep the bag off of your back. You then have two straps which come up the other side here and one on the other side. Uh, these actually sit on your back and that leaves this air gap just here between your back and the bag allowing heat to escape from the back and help prevent uh, build up of sweat and perspiration on yourself. Um, the shoulder section here is also fully adjustable. You've got a number of different hooks on here where you can adjust the height of the bag. So you can bring it down if you're a smaller person or if you're like me, you're quite a big tall person, you prefer it to be near the top. Um, you can adjust that to make it fit your, your own back a lot more comfortably. Each shoulder strap has two adjustments. You can pull them obviously to adjust it to suit to your shoulders and you've got the strap which goes across the front and that pulls in on your chest. And at the bottom you've got the strap to go around your, around your waist and let the bag sit on your uh, sit on your hips rather than on your shoulders. Uh, there is padding on the bottom here. It's well, to be honest, it, it's, it does the job. Um, it's not a lot of padding, but it is. I found it very comfortable uh, considering. Looking at the bag from this angle, you've got two pockets on the side here. I generally keep the food and water sometimes in each one of these. It's pretty easy to, uh, well, it's dead easy to get your hands onto it. Put the zip on either side, straight down and you're in. Bottom section here, uh, this compartment can be either set up to be just a separate compartment or you can remove or unzip the internal um, divider and then the whole bag becomes one one compartment. I normally use it as two compartments and then on the wet gear on the trail just put a waterproof jacket in here, um, woolly hat, gloves etc. That all goes in there so I can just open it up, grab it and put it on quickly if I need to. In the middle of the bag You've got a zip which opens up to another pocket section, ideal for storing maps in and again items you want to get to quickly. I've got a power supply battery charger in here from the phone, um, but I say it's ideal for fitting maps in there. You've got two toggles here, so you release the top of the bag. Um, Around the bottom section of these toggles as well there's a couple of velcro clips which can be used for uh, attaching other items if needed. Looking at the compartment on the top, you have a zip on the top, plenty of room in there. I keep on my first aid kit, head torch and again items I want to get to quickly in there. I've got spoon, knife, etc, fork. When you lift up this section, you've got another zip area under there, where you can keep keys, wallet, etc. Main compartment, pull the toggle, and you're in. Plenty of room to fill your gear. I've got water bottles in there. 
jet ball cooker today. I may have a cup of tea in a bit. And then inside here, you've got two clips where you can release them and remove a plastic a plastic section that goes down the back here. Now, generally I'll leave it in there because it keeps the bag nice and rigid, um, keeps the arch and keeps that air gap between yourself and the bag. Um, you can remove it and that would obviously reduce the weight of the bag somewhat. Um, getting on the sides, you've got a little hole in the top here, so if you've got a, um, a camel sack or something like that, when you want to put your water in there, you can just feed the tube straight out and down onto your shoulder strap. I can't tell you the weight off the top of my head, but I'll go back and find it out for you. Um, personally, I think it's a great, great, great day sack. Much better than the ones I've had in the past. Um, so having this ventilation system on the back makes makes a hell of a difference. I've been using it since probably March, April time this year. Um, and so I love it. It's, it's great just for going out. Chuck everything you need in there for the day. There's probably enough room in there as well. Well, there is more than enough room to go out overnight as well during the summer. So you've got less kit and don't need to carry so much. All you need pretty much is uh, your food, your bag, and a bivy, and away you go. So that's it, really. Um, if you've got any more questions or want to ask me a bit more about the bag, um, please, please either leave a message on the YouTube channel or private message me. I'll try and respond as quick as possible. Um, but hopefully, hope you've liked the review. Um, sorry if you haven't. But that's what you get with me. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye for now.